Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a super fresh face. This is basically what I like to do if I'm just kind of running out the door and I want to just look a little bit fresher, a little bit brighter, kind of cover my under eyes a little bit. This is the type of routine where it kind of fades nicely, so if you wear it for a while and it kind of fades off, it doesn't look really bad. Sometimes you get like patchy. And this doesn't really get like that because I'm not using a ton of product. So if you'd like to see how I get my fresh, super fast, out the door face, then just keep watching. So typically for me, this is like a daytime routine if I am doing errands or something. So I definitely want to start off with my Kane and Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer. This does have SPF 50 in it, which is why I like it. Get some sunscreen because I know I'm going to be outside. And I'll just quickly run that all over. The next thing I like to do is conceal. I'm not going to use a foundation, I'm just going to use some concealer. And for that I like to use the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. And I'm in the shade Almond. For this I like to put some under my eyes and on my lids because they're very veiny. And I like to go around the nose because I get real red there. A little on the forehead and around my chin area. That's kind of about it. I really don't need, if I had more pimples, I would maybe spot conceal a little bit, but that's kind of mostly all I need. And then lately when I've been doing this, I've been loving to use this Luxie 532 brush. It's basically just like a round kabuki brush. And I like to pat all this around and I do kind of spread it down. And I mean, with just that much, I can pretty much get my whole face. This is kind of what I've been doing when I've been visiting my dad at the hospital. You know, I want to look a little put together, but I don't want to be like too glam at the hospital. Once that is blended out, I like to take the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter, and I use that to set under my eyes. So for that, I'm going to be using the Tarte Park Ave Princess Palette, and I'm going to be using the two light shades. And I'm going to set under my eyes and in my T-zone area, and then I'm going to kind of buff it out into all the rest of my face. Now, I am oily. I get oily in my T-zone. So that is why I like to set my powders, but if you don't get oily, you really don't have to worry about setting your face. Then I do like to go in and bronze up my skin a little bit. I am going to be using the shade here in the Park Ave Princess palette. And I'm just going to quickly put some color back in. Sometimes I just use blush, kind of depends but I just want to lightly, I don't even really contour my nose. I just kind of put the bronzer around just to give it some dimension. Then I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows. I'm just going to be using a little bit of Gimme Brow. I like to just brush through them. And this is in the shade 3. I just kind of run that along my natural brow shape and then brush it out just to kind of blend. Sometimes I'll fill in my brows with my pencil, just my goof proof pencil, but most of the time I just use my gimme brow and for the look I'm kind of going for a little bit of a natural brow is fine. They don't need to be perfect, just a little bit darker than normal. Now I'm just gonna put a little um, of that same bronzer with my Morphe M504, and I'm just gonna put that along my crease. I'm just gonna fluff and buff it out towards the brow a little bit, just for a little dimension. I love using my bronzer for eyeshadow. I think it looks like really nice and seamless. I'm gonna put on a little bit of my Note Cosmetics blush in Desert Rose. And I'm using a Luxie 504 large angle brush. And I'm just lightly 
going to put that on my cheeks. And I like to blend it together. Just kind of makes it look a little bit more natural. And then again with that same bronzer, I'm going to go in with an E17. Just kind of a little bullet brush. And I'm going to throw that under my eyes. Just lightly. I don't like too much going on under my eyes when I do a natural look, but a little bit does tie it together. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. This is the Am Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. I just cannot put this down right now. I'm a little bit more fair, but it still has some gold in it, and I just think it's gorgeous. So first I take it on my Morphe M510 brush, and I pop that on the cheekbones, Cupid's bow, a little down the nose, and a little on the forehead. And then I go in with my flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to put that on the inner corner and a little on the lid and also a little on the brow bone. And then I'm just going to take our bronzer eyeshadow brush just kind of run over that sparkle, make sure it's blended. And then I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And while that's still drying, I'm just going to put a little bit more highlighter on just the tops of my cheeks. Just to get me. Just to get me there. Ignore my hair. This is my errand hair. Then I like to use a lot of mascara. If I'm not doing lashes, which I don't really do when I'm running errands, I like to use the Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara. And I also like to mix in the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I love using two mascaras. I think it helps kind of like marry everything together. And I am a big fan of using two mascaras that do like different things. Like one that thickens and then one that maybe like lengthens. And you can curl your lashes if you're a lash curl kind of person. Mine don't always need it. Alright, so we're looking nice and fresh and glowy. And so I'm just going to pop on a little bit of a lippy. Um, you can pretty much do anything with this look if you want to do something bright. I think this is a great look to do like a nice bright lip. Um, I like to do a nude. You can use chapstick or just a gloss. Um, I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors Desi Katie collaboration. This is a mauve story. And I just think this one is nice. It's like basically my lips but better and I don't even really use a lip liner, um, especially if I'm just like running errands or as I said, I've been going to the hospital a lot. So this is basically, it's comfortable and I enjoy wearing it. And I think it's easy to apply without a lip liner. Okay guys, well this is the finished look glowy it's pretty it's natural but like you look put together like I know it looks like I have makeup on I get that but I think it looks like you know I tried a little bit even though this barely took me 20 minutes with talking and pausing in between so I mean I can pretty much put this face on in 10 minutes and be out the door and I don't feel like naked or self-conscious I mean I don't I wear no makeup all the time but sometimes it is nice especially if you're doing something stressful or a little bit difficult it's nice that you feel put together and that's kind of what I mean especially like going to the hospital a lot for visiting my dad it is nice for me to feel like pretty and put together and to feel nice on the outside it helps me feel nice on the inside and you know I think I think my dad appreciates it if I'm a little like glowy and pretty and stuff so this is just what I've been doing when I go and visit and I just think it is such a nice little look so I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick little video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye.